my God, this is awesome. How are you guys feeling tonight, good? Oh, I love it, I love it. Uh, are there any hip hop fans here tonight? Great, I know you were like, oh, I bet this guy's gonna talk about hip hop. Uh, here's the thing, I, I feel like I'm a reasonably intelligent human being, um, and I'd say it probably took me about six years to realize that Will I Am <laughs> was just William with dots in it. <laughs> Anyone else have that same? I feel like half of you right now are like, oh my God, it's William with dots in it. It's the little things we miss, you know? It's just, the other day it took, again, this same thing for me the other day, Flo Rida. I don't know, maybe I finally saw it written out. I was like, oh my God, it's Florida with a space in the middle. I was like, I bet that's where he's from. <laughs> I, uh, I love reading reviews on the internet. It's funny now, like, you type anything into Google and reviews pop up. You know, like hotel, right? You type your friend Kevin into Google and it's like, Kevin, three stars. <laughs> and you're like, who's reviewing Kevin? Also, maybe I shouldn't hang out with Kevin anymore. Just the shitty three-star friend. I don't need that. And there were all these angry one-star reviews. And then I started looking through reviews on Yelp of things. And now I honestly feel that if you hate a place, I think the worst review you can give it is two stars. If you give something one star, that's about you. Look at any one-star review. It is unrelated to the business they're reviewing. It's like, I was eating at Cafe Honduras, and that's where I found out my cat had committed suicide. One star. Like a hotel. It's like, I called up this so-called hotel. They told me a room there was $300. Do you think I can afford a $300 hotel room? Do you know how many times I've been divorced? <laughs> Photos of the lobby look pretty cool. One star. I went to get my hair cut the other day and I typed in this barber shop and this was the review that came up. One star review, all caps. It just said, I have never been to this barber shop and I am never going. I was like, cool, keep us posted. <laughs> I, uh, Montreal is a great, uh, great food town, right? Great food here in Montreal. Very few one-star restaurants in Montreal. I guess your cats have very good mental health. <laughs> I have to be careful because there's such good food here in Montreal and I have to care be careful because I was a really chubby kid. All growing up, I was a chubby kid. And it's funny, like, I, I did sports all the time as a kid, yet I was super chubby. Then I quit sports and I lost a bunch of weight. I'm like Michelle Obama's worst nightmare. <laughs> and it's crazy, like once you were ever chubby, kind of even if you're like, now I'm average sized, you know? So like for an American, I'm severely underweight. <laughs> but if you were chubby growing up, in your head, you're always kind of a chubby kid. You're always like worried about it. I'm always very sensitive about it. Like if I'm on a date with a girl and she's like, oh, you have cute cheeks. I'm like, you're fat. <laughs> Food is not my frustration right now. My frustration, my deep frustration in my life is with my computer. Um, it was my understanding that computers were invented to improve our lives, to solve problems. What I don't understand then is why my computer comes to me once a week and asks if it can upgrade itself. <laughs> Have you had that? He's like, hey, can I fix my own stuff? I'm like, I don't know, dude, do it on your own fucking time. <laughs> How about just whenever I open you up, you work. How about that? Can we make that arrangement? Because your computer won't just be like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. It'll be like, when do you want to talk about this again? <laughs> it asks you when. It wants to schedule a fucking appointment with you. And it gives you options, right? It's like, when's good for you, Colin? How about half an hour from now? What about an hour from now? What about later tonight? What about tomorrow morning? What about in a fortnight? When works for you? And then your computer knows how annoying it's being because the last option just says later. <laughs> like you're fighting with your friend. You're like, I don't know, dude. We're going to figure it out fucking later. I don't know. And then your computer is passive aggressive, right? You ever on the, the internet? You're just like surfing the internet? 
Then a window pops up. Would you like to upgrade your Adobe Flash Player? <laughs> and you're like, uh, no, not really. I uh, don't really care about it at all. Uh, it could live or die, and it would not impact my life. I do not care. <laughs> and then your computer's like, okay, yeah, no problem. You don't have to upgrade it. No problem at all. Um, if you don't, you won't be able to watch videos on the internet. I'm like, well, you see, I'm currently on a porn site, right? So, huge problem. Why don't we just go ahead and upgrade it? How much does the upgrade cost? It's free. Why are we having this conversation? <laughs> then you're like, good, let's do it. Go ahead. Your computer's is like, fine. There's a beat. Another window pops up. Do you trust it? I'm like, I'm sorry, do I trust what? The Adobe Flash upgrade. Do you trust it? I'm like, you just fucking introduced it to me. Thank you guys very much. You guys are fantastic. I love you, Montreal. Have a great night.